here today looking at the uh, Arms Corps Rock Island Armory 12 gauge shotgun. This is a shotgun uh, purpose built for social work. It's not a sporting shotgun. It's just made. It's a fighting shotgun, and it's uh, set up just right. There was a lot of shotguns on the market, and I like the new high tech shotguns like the SRM, the uh, Utosh, and the KSG. I own a KSG. You know they have a lot of capacity to short, but a standard shotgun like this has a lot of advantages. Uh, one, it's a uh, uh, it's easy to load, uh, it's easy to work. Uh, this has uh, the slickest action I've ever felt on any pump shotgun, and I've handled a lot of them all my life. Uh, there's some unique things about this that I really like. The receiver is steel, the barrel is steel, the only polymer on it we have is the synthetic buckstock and the nicely uh, grooved uh, forearm right here. The uh, trigger guard black anodized aluminum, uh, it's got a cross bolt safety which you know, being a left-hander, I prefer a safety on top, protect something I can work with. You know, I've just, uh, I've become accustomed to just reaching out and pull it back to put it in the fire position. Uh, like I said, it's really slick. What's the action on this? When I release this, release the slide, it just falls open by itself. And that's pretty cool. You know, it's got twin action bars, and like I said, it's the slickest pump gun I've ever worked. Uh, and they got several of these, not just this particular one. Uh, in fact, I got in five of these. Uh, they also offered in a black model. My brother got in a few of these, and this is just a slick. Every one of them took out of the box has been that slick. They got a ventilated hand guard over this 20 inch barrel to keep your, uh, uh, one thing, it just looks really cool. Another thing, it keeps you from burning your fingers on the barrel when you're reaching up here grabbing this thing. It's got a uh, magazine, tubular magazine, holds uh, five rounds of two and three quarter inch or four rounds of three inch shells. That gives you a total capacity of five or six because you need one in the chamber all the time. You know, a lot of people say, leave your chamber empty and racking that shotgun, uh, the bad guy's gonna just uh, uh, piss his pants and run off. That's not gonna happen. You give away your position and um, you reduce your capacity by one by doing that. You need to keep the shot, the shotgun needs to be ready to fight uh, when you engage your intruder. But anyway, uh, this is not made where you can add a magazine extension on it. I know that question is going to come up. This is not made that way, but it holds enough. You know, if you can't uh, get the job done with five or six rounds of a double alt buck or number four buck or bird shot, whatever you're using, uh, you got a problem. Another thing it does, the you can hold uh, two extra shells here in the buckstock. One thing I really like about this design, it's uh, pretty much a copy of the old high standard flight king. And uh, I like it because the... Uh, the lifter or shell carrier is in the upward position when you're in the fight. So during a fight, you can always reach, grab one, poke it in. You don't have to push up on any button to release it. You don't have to lift that carrier. You can just drop in shells as, as you go. If you run it empty, your first shot, you can just drop it in there. You're ready to go and close in more if you have the time. Put them in there. Another feature I like on this shotgun, you know, most barrels on the pump guns, they drop in and the nut up here holds them in. This barrel is threaded into this steel receiver, so it's not going anywhere, it's not moving. Uh, for taking it apart, you don't take the barrel out of it. You can clean it from the breech end or from the muzzle. Uh, to get to the inside, you push out this one pin, your trigger guard will lift out, um, your uh, shell lifter will lift out, and your action arms will pull out the back of it. That's all you need to do to clean up the thing. But it's a real good shotgun. Another feature on this that uh, uh, really endears it to me is the price. You know, there's some, uh, I've tested the SRM, the Caltech KSG, the Utosh. Those go for a lot of money. Um, this shotgun sells for around 200 bucks. Uh, I ordered mine from uh, the Gun Genie on uh, Davidson's Gallery of Guns. And let me tell you what you do there. You go and uh, you put in your zip code, find the gun you want. And uh, they'll give you a list of bigs from uh, dealers within 25, 50, or 100 miles of your area, whatever you want to put in. And the dealers are bidding uh, for your business. I, I got a sheet here that I got. And this shotgun in the black, I just pulled it up yesterday, put in my zip code, runs from $189.19 up to $221.99, depending on which dealer I'm getting it for. They also list all the fees on here, all your shipping, your uh, state taxes if that apply, that you will have to pay the dealer, and your transfer fees, so you know exactly what the gun is going to cost when you go pick it up. You put a deposit uh, on with the uh, gallery of guns, 
you pay the dealer the rest when you get there. The totals on these taxes, uh, shipping, everything ran from 232 up to 269, depending on which dealer bid it on this. On the black gun, the uh, matte nickel guns are about eight dollars more. This parkerized is a good durable finish. I just like the looks of this nickel. It protects the steel and won't be rusting or anything. So I ordered a. Uh, five of these issued one to my son-in-law. He was needing a good shotgun and the others I'll get I'm gonna load them up and keep them different places around the house But it's a good shotgun. It's a reliable shotgun. Like I said, it's the slickest action I've ever worked on a pump gun. It's easy to use It's easy to fire. It's easy to keep in operation uh, The 20 inch barrel is about the right length. You know a lot of people think you got to have a little short shotgun for close quarters You don't you can take this and tuck it up under your arm like that and you only got about uh, 26 inches or uh, sticking out there in front of you and you can control this shotgun really well you can protect it keep it uh, up against you like this nobody can grab it and snatch it away from you um, and it maneuvers well in tight quarters we're going to shoot it a little bit show you different ways of patterns we've got some different things here we've got uh, well, these are some three inch turkey logs they really throw out a lot of shot uh, something like this is uh, a cylinder bore so you know patterning for turkey you'll want something a little tighter but turkey loads are real good for social work if you need them. They uh, they have more recoil uh, than you usually want in a social work load. I really like these uh, nine pellet double off buck loads. I just recently got in a couple thousand rounds of these. The number four buck, I got in some of these. Got all these from Lucky Gunner here recently. This has 21 pellets and number four buck. And that's uh, about a 22, 24, 25 caliber, something like that. A uh, little pellet in there and it does a good job. The FBI used to always carry number four buck because it's a balance of you get more pellets than you do with double lock uh, so you got a lot more hicks on the target but they still penetrate well. A lot of good choices on the uh, uh, different loads you can use you know across a room and uh, people argue with me, me with this all the time but you know seven yards is a good size living room it's about 21 feet across a bedroom in an apartment or whatever you know, if you got 10 or 12 feet uh, about four yards. That's, that's the distance you're going to be shooting at and bird shot will just Devastate flesh at that range, but if it penetrates a wall one of your neighbors once it goes through that wall It's going to lose speed uh, quickly because the individual pellets they don't contain that much power or speed After it goes through the wall, but close up and personal they do a really good job You know out in the open or uh, if there's no danger of over penetration or whatever Buckshot's a good thing to use, either the four or the uh, double alt, single alt, any of that will work really well. We're going to shoot some on target. We're going to try to dispel a few mists. You know, a lot of people think that uh, if you fire a shotgun and, and, you know, gunshot commandos and things will tell you this, you get pointed in the general direction of your target and you're going to get hit. You, you don't do that. Uh, close quarters, you got to aim a shotgun. Uh, you, to get, you're going to have a, maybe a fist size or palm size uh, pattern across a small room and so you got to put the uh, put the shells where they need to be these come with a uh, gold bead front sight which is adequate if you want something that's a little more visible or uh, uh, got a little tritium light in it excess sights makes one that gets fixed down over a bead and it will not come off of there and it's a uh, real real good handy to put on any beaded shotgun we're going to shoot it a little bit and see how it patterns at different distances and show you how reliable functional and affordable uh, this shotgun is from a uh, Rock Island Armory. We'll start out with this uh, cellular pellet. It's a nine pellet, uh, double up buck load, two and three quarter inch. Recoil is not bad, but it's uh, very effective. It's a good, uh, good type buck load to use. It's, uh, it's controllable, especially in a gun like this. This gun's about uh, seven and three quarter pounds. It's, like I said, it's got a lot of steel in it. It's easy to shoot, real durable. And we'll show you how this pattern at about uh, about 15 yards. Which is about 45 feet, which that's, that's, you know, even outside, that's a pretty good shot for a, uh, using double off for self-defense because, uh, and, and inside a house, you know, uh, hardly anybody's got a room that big. So we'll start out back here and we'll get a little closer to some more realistic distances as we go on. You can see how this pattern's even at uh, uh, 15 yards. I can cover these nine pellets with the palm of my hand. Right there in the neck, that would be devastating. 
a couple of them went over here and one in the shoulder area but most of them are right in there and that shows how you know you can't just point a shotgun in a general direction and expect it to hit you know if you don't you're going to have a miss and a miss is no good something like this uh, something as devastating as double lock buck you know that that target is out right there he got no chance uh, but anyway point it where you want it and you can put the pellets where you want it that's from 15 yards. We're going to shoot now some number four buck. It's 21 pellets, uh, two and three quarter inch load. We're going to shoot across a typical distance of a bedroom, which is 12 feet. You know, if you got a, a big living room, be a little more. We're going to show you just how this uh, patterns at this distance. Again, you see how tight that is. You got, we got 21 pellets. And the wad right through the middle of that, that's a one through three eighths inch plywood, but it just, uh, you can see how tight that is. It's less than the palm of my hand. We've got about a three inch at uh, four yards or uh, 12 feet poking right through there. So, you know, again, you got to point your shotgun where you want it to go, but this is a good shotgun. It points really well, it handles well, it balances well, and it uh, puts your shot where you Winchester need. PDX1 in here. Now, that's a good load for a uh, a general social work it's got a one ounce slug and right in front of that it's got three plated uh, double up buckshot so you get it all i've backed up now to about six yards about 18 feet that's a usually a good size living room in an apartment or a, a single family house and we're going to uh, pattern it on there Before I fired that, we got our three pellets here. Circle around, we got the slug right in the middle, which uh, is just devastating on something like that. But again, it's a small pattern. You got to aim your shotgun where you want your pellets to go. Got a load of uh, number seven and a half inch bird shot in here. We're going to shoot at that. You know, like I said, sometimes I recommend that depending on your situation, bird shot will do the job. Now, some people will have you believe that uh, I'm right here at about five yards. They're going to bounce off and hit me in the face. That they'll bounce off anything it won't do it we're going to pattern this on there and show you how a uh, load of bird shot will just rat hole on a target at this distance here's my little bird shot about the size of the palm of my hand or to the center of it where most of them was concentrated just eats that out you're throwing number seven and a half like that you're throwing probably 650 pellets in that little spot the back of the target uh, the plywood just eat up so you know it uh, it does a good job on penetrating at close range you get out further it won't you know like you're hunting with dick chain or whatever it's going to put some put some pellets in you but it's not going to immediately kill you but at close distance something like this it'll uh, it'll eat you lunch i'm going to do a close range double out buck which if you've got the uh, in the right situation double out a number four buck uh, in a house, if over penetration is not a problem, killing your neighbor is not a problem, in case you miss something like that, I recommend the uh, the buckshot. Now, uh, close range, across the room, I'm about 20 feet away right now. We're going to see how this patterns. Nine pellet, double lock buck, two and three quarter load at 20 feet. See everything's right there. You know uh, that's nine pellets of double out buck. The wad went right over here and didn't penetrate, but that's just a wad. You got nine pellets of double out right there in a spot, inch and a half. You know it's just gonna it's just gonna ruin the day of some. There's nothing else that we can legally uh, hand hold and carry to, and use to de for defense. It's quite as devastating as a shotgun at close range. Got a three inch magnum turkey load in here just to show you how well this also handles the recoil. It's a, uh, you know, turkey loads, some of the hardest kicking loads out there. This one's throwing about the equivalent of two 12 gauge target loads with one pull of the trigger. It's throwing that much shot, but it does do some damage to the target, and uh, we're going to put one in there. Here we've got a good load, about palm size, number six turkey load into this target from, uh, this was from uh, about 10 yards, 30 feet out, and uh, still well on the target, no pellets off the target anywhere. It does some damage.
that was at 21 yards. We fired this uh, nine pellet double out here, had one miss right off his shoulder, rest of them right there in the chest area. So the spread on this is still, most of it, no bigger than, than my spread out hand there. So it's really effective. Uh, you get a lot of hits on the target. You know, you're getting a, those double out are about 33 caliber. You're getting nine of them in this case, got eight of them right there in the chest area. It's just a, it's a devastating load to use on, the, on targets for home defense, any kind of social work. It's just good to have. It's one of the, the 12 gauge pump shotguns been so popular for so many years. It's just a relatively light. It's easy to load, it's easy to use. You know, you can teach somebody in five minutes how to run one of these and uh, with a good day's training, they can uh, do pretty much anything they need to do with a 12 gauge shotgun. This uh, Arms Corps Rock Island is, uh, like I said, it's one of the slickest of ever seen. Uh, every gun we've tried has been like that. They're effective, they're powerful, uh, they're durable, and they're really inexpensive. You can buy this thing cheaper than you can buy a little 380 pocket gun. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, there's many places you can buy them. Check with your local dealer if you want to. But if you want a uh, local dealer's bidding for your business, uh, click on the Gun Genie at galleryofguns.com. That's where I got these from. And uh, I really like them. It's a good, effective shotgun. It's what I'm going to use for my home defense. Uh, even though I got other, I got shotguns that cost, uh, uh, you know, one of these for what uh, Caltex are selling for now, the KSG, you know, the MSRP on them. Well, they're under 900 bucks, but they're selling for a lot more than that. You know, you can buy five or six of these for what you can buy one of those for. The capacity is not as much. This will give you six rounds instead of the uh, 15 or so in the Caltech, but uh, you don't need that many rounds. And a gun like this, like I said, you can thumb them in as you go. You get a little low in the fight. You can put in more if you need to. Holds two extra rounds here in the buck stock where you can carry them in your pocket or whatever, but... Generally speaking, I've got pretty much confidence I can handle anything I need to with uh, six shots of buckshot and not have to reload, but it's uh, easy to load back up if you need to without taking the shotgun out of the fight. It's not like a gun where you got to pull a magazine, poke one in. You know, if you're down a couple of shells, poke in a couple of more and keep going. You know, it's an excellent shotgun uh, from Arms Corps, Rock Island. It's made in the Philippines. It's made really well. You can get it with the black park rise finish or this matte nickel got a lot of steel in it uh, don't have a lot of plastic in it just your synthetic furniture on here good durable shotgun uh, made right and priced right and uh, it's available now I'll show you how well this shotgun handles recoil I've got the uh, two and three quarter inch nine pellet buckshot loads in here serious social work load but the uh, uh, shotgun don't hurt at all shooting these it's easy on the shoulder so it's got some good weight to it it's easy to run uh, it's slick to run uh, easy to put your hicks right where you need them. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me about um, a 12 gauge for use for a small person or a woman concerned about the recoil. It's not that bad. You know, even with the uh, the nine pellet logs and the gun. Uh, this heavy made out of steel it's not that bad but there is a way that you can shoot that uh, uh, takes all the pain out of it now we've been told all our life to pull that gun back in the shoulder real tight so you get less recoil that works sometimes but when I'm shooting a lot of heavy turkey loads or whatever patterning uh, a lot of heavier buckshot and things I'll you hold this thing in an isometric hold similar to holding a handgun I'll keep it off my shoulder about two inches push forward to my strong hand pull back with my support hand, and that takes all the recoil out of this thing where it's not pounding your shoulder. Got my nine-year-old grandson here, Ethan. He likes to shoot guns, and uh, you know, a lot of people are scared of shooting buckshot out of a shotgun. I've got a nine pellet load of double out buckshot in here. He's gonna show you how easy it is to control. Go ahead, Ethan. Not bad, is it? 